The National Angus Conference and Tour is a long-awaited annual gathering for the Angus family. Readers greet old friends and make new ones during the event, which includes a one-day educational conference as well as tours that cover Angus operations and significant landmarks specific to the region. This year's tour brought attendees to beautiful upstate New York August 28th through the 30th. I don't think people were expecting what they saw. I think when they got here, they realized how much agriculture is in the state, just how big and beautiful and vast it is. I believe most people were thinking they were coming to something like New York City. And um, I think that they've learned that that's not the case. Really interesting to see the different geographics and how folks do things and, and what they're using and what works for them. The information here that you can gain is extremely valuable in terms of taking it back home and using it in your type, in your organization or program. Once the uh, conference part is over, we all hop on tour buses in different parts of the country every year with breeders from across the country, learning a little bit about their respective operations and the history they've had with the Angus breed. And it's always fun to come back the next year and then see those familiar faces and strike up those friendships and relationships again. One of the really neat aspects of uh, having the Angus tour up and along the Hudson River is the history that this part of the country played in the development of the Angus business. You get to renew old friendships and, and meet new people and it's always exciting when you can do that and visit with people that have the same passion that you do for Angus cattle is, is really incredible. It's fascinating to see some of the same genetics that, that are used at home and see them in another setting possibly in a different environment. The hospitality is great. Uh, we think we have expensive ground at home and you get up here and, and uh, they live in a whole different world. A lot of issues are discussed that are kind of at the forefront and emerging that I think breeders and, and folks in the industry ought to be aware of. So it's a great opportunity to kind of get in on the front end of some things that everybody should know about. The people were great. They asked wonderful questions. They were very interested in what we were doing. And I, I think they learned a lot. Most of them seem to be very happy about being here. Visit Angus.org for additional coverage from the National Angus Conference and Tour, or stay tuned to upcoming episodes of The Angus Report. We'll return in just a moment. The Angus Report is brought to you by Altacid IGR Feed Through Fly Control. Reduce horn flies by feeding Altacid for 30 days past the first frost to keep flies from overwintering. Learn more at altacidigr.com. We've used select sires uh, for a long time, probably for the last 25 years. Their service is second to none. Select sires has a lot of bulls that are our balanced trait bulls that, that really fit our needs. We've always had really good conception with it. And, and I think they've got a, a real nice li lineup of sires. They like bulls that have all the economic traits, all the numbers that we're looking for, whether it be cavities or carcass, and they put as much emphasis on structure and phenotype as any company we've worked with. We all have uh, essentially genetics that have something to offer to a lot of people, and that's where service differentiates the very good ones. For superior service and superior genetics, Visit SelectSiresBeef.com. Schieffelbein Farms is all about family. Schieffelbein Farms is one of the largest registered Angus herds with more than 700 cows. Schieffelbein Farms is customer service. Our customer buyback program ensures top dollar for our customers' calves and ensures the use of high quality Schieffelbein bulls. Schieffelbein Farms, changing the way seed stock business gets done. Learn more at www.schiefelbeinfarms.com. What's one more calf worth? You make a big time investment in genetic improvement, so why not get more calves? It starts with VitaFirm Conceptate with the AmaFirm Advantage for just two to four cents more a day. Feeding VitaFirm Conceptate before breeding season gives your cows the nutrition they need for improved conception rates. Plus, AmaFirm enhances digestion of feed improving body condition, a critical component to fertility. So with cattle prices as high as they've ever been, what's one more calf worth? A lot. VitaFirm Conceptate. This stuff is good. Learn more at VitaFirm.com. 
Horn flies cost cattle producers nearly $1 billion a year. They interrupt grazing, cause loss of blood, and impact your bottom line. By incorporating Altacid IGR into your supplement program, you can prevent the emergence of adult horn flies. Altacid IGR will significantly reduce stress on your cattle. For pennies a day, you can control the most costly parasite and increase your profitability. Contact your feed supplier to incorporate Altacid IGR today. A common perception points to crossbreeding as the key to profitability. But does that perception hold true in real-world settings? A six-year study of 56,438 cattle at Decatur County Feed Yard in Kansas points to the economic advantages of straight-bred Angus cattle. Straight-bred Angus calves had the lowest treatment costs. Straight-bred Angus calves had the heaviest final weights. Straight-bred calves had the best average daily gains. And the straight-bred calves enjoyed the highest CAB acceptance rate. There's perception, there's science, and there's business. Angus means business.